there's a scene where it's kind of like one of those talk news shows, and it's actually four women talking about this man. You're the been... first person to bring that up. Really? Yeah. And it's these four women talking about a male's a male experience about rape, and it seems kind of insensitive, and they're kind of joking about it. Yet again, that's something that happens on a regular basis, and we have groups of men making decisions for women, and, and we see that all the time. So in analyzing how the media, like, sorry, I'm, I'm just trying to frame that in a different way. It's like, how big of a part did, was the media for, of this for you? Like, why was that important to add? Yeah, it was a very it was a very big part of it for me. And the this particular segment that you're talking about is is modeled after sort of um, a Nancy Grace type segment, where you know people are talking very graphically about this about several of the victims um, who were assaulted by this woman known only as Maud, um, and uh, and and they are very being sort of cavalier about in talking about the experiences of these men and making some jokes, but also sort of saying. You know, how could it possibly be rape? Like, how does a how does a guy actually get raped? I think very much in the way that the that the female experience is constantly like, well, you know, they were you know fooling around beforehand, so how can it not be rape? You know, or she was wearing this, so how 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 did she not ask for it? Those same sort of um, unforgivable, unacceptable uh, double standards that women are held to. I wanted to look at the other side of that um, and say you know, and have the reader look at it and go, well, this does sound ridiculous. And it's like, yeah, it, it does. But now apply it to us and, and see how that feels. I think what's so important for me about this book, and I, I really hope that a lot of men read it, it's, it's difficult, but it's important. And I think it will be very refreshing. I think you'll also just enjoy it from the standpoint of, of a basic thriller. It's a, it's a ballsy ass thriller. I'm really proud of that. It is, and and I, but I think at the same time you look at it and everything that every woman has ever told you, you know, that's be, that's tried to explain to you what this experience is like, and I'm not just talking about the gruesome violence that happens. I'm talking about the the post violences, the things that happen after the fact, that happen after assault, the the way in which you know people are not believed, the way in which their stories are taken away from them, the way in which they're silenced, they're. Um, they're threatened, their livelihood is threatened, their families are threatened, their bank accounts are threatened through lawsuits and intimidation. So I think look at these large lenses and I, I just really hope that it, it, makes, it makes men and some women too not just see it for what it is, but feel it for what it is. <laughs> <laughs>